Good morning. I hope that you all are staying cozy. I've had a pretty productive work morning. I've been up since like around six or so and it's not too cold here. I live here um, in the Midwest in Chicago downtown and uh, it's actually a really nice day. So I thought, why don't I grab my knitting and go get some coffee and take you all along with me. I'm in the process of knitting a sweater. So I'm really looking forward to when I can actually go out and wear some new knits. I do have scarves and cowls. So I am trying to decide. So I showed you all this piece in a recent video. This is my winter wish cowl. It's kind of a casual Friday sort of deal because it's not like as cold. I don't know if I have to like completely bundle up, you know? I am going to go get some coffee and then maybe do some computer work for the day and just really kind of um, have it be a chill, low-key day. Like I said, I want to show you guys um, one of my current projects that I'm working on, but first, coffee. I decided on my DRK Everyday Cowl. It's just the color vibe that I want right now. I love it. I just love it because you can pop it on and go, you know, still feel cute. I think it's like 30 degrees outside, but it's windy close to the lake. So that's also why I decided not to wear my trench because it's just like with the wind chill, it's not quite warm enough yet. I'm just Lulu'd out today. I got my Lulu coat. I have my Lululemon bag that has sort of been my yarn bag lately. It's enough space. I think it's actually called the everyday yoga bag or something. I can throw my knitting in there and I have like a whole sweater. It's a nice day for a brisk walk outside, but you still want to be like bundled up for sure. Life of a city dweller, you still have to wait at the lights. And the thing that I learned when I first moved to the city is that when there's a don't walk light, some people will still go. And if you're not paying attention and you just walk behind them, like definitely have almost gotten run over by a bus before doing that. Okay, I think we are getting close. There's this coffee shop. I don't know anybody who has actually gone here. Since it's a casual Friday, why not? I'm excited. coffee was good the pastry was good you know it's very very classic very traditional very Ralph Lauren we asked them and I was like is it Ralph Lauren or Ralph Lauren he was like it's Ralph Lauren one thing I actually really did like is that it's no Wi-Fi so you know it is something where you really go there and enjoy a cup of coffee and shop people were in there conversing I could see people going in there just to read and relax not really like a knit it's not really a place to like go and get computer work done which I vibe with I actually have more whips to show you than I thought <laughs> sometimes you just want to bundle up and stay cozy I have really been trying to be intentional about making sure that you know, I'm getting out, I'm going to the gym, I'm going to my yoga classes, going out and exploring as well and really trying to find that, like that nice cozy balance with, of course, like 
still being able to curl up on the couch and knit here at home. I, I love doing that. So I do have a little bit of show and tell uh, projects that I've worked on, um, that I've designed and released, and some things that I've knit but haven't released yet, but that I want to. This is the DRK Everyday Cowl. This is a pattern that was designed by Andrea Maori, who I really admire, such a talented person and knitwear designer. And I knit this in December and it was such a quick knit. I just finished releasing a sweater pattern and kit that I released and I just wanted something that I could just cast on my needles and have it be like a quick, satisfying knit. And uh, the DRK Everyday Cowl is just that. I love the colors. Um, and what I really love about it is not only are you able to choose which colors that you wanna knit your cowl in, but it's just, um, really a two skein project of DK weight. So I was really able to explore my stash. This is DK yarn. It's a mixture of classic DK and DK on Stellina by Sorella Yarn. It was a part of her exclusive collection that she did in collaboration with Alexi of Two of Wands from their Autumn in New York collection. I really love the colors and was really gravitated towards like the greens, um, there's some orange in here, like this nice mix on Stellina and then the classic green. And I just love it so much. I just love that you can pop it on and put it under over a puffer or a trench coat and still be warm and cozy. I am definitely planning to knit myself another um, cowl because I really enjoyed the project. The pattern is so well written and honestly, I get compliments, you know, when I go out wearing my knits, but this one, I mean, every time i walk out every time i've worn it so far when i walk out i get compliments on my cowl so i recently just did a tutorial on this piece that i love so much um this is my winter wish cowl that i designed and released in collaboration with lion brand yarn it uses local grown which is a 100 percent domestic wool yarn i love wearing this cowl so much i had so much fun designing it and choosing my colors blue a gray and this really nice pink that I really enjoy called Cherry Blossom. And uh, this is another piece that I've just been wearing so much. Every time I go out, I love that I can just pop it on and go. It looks so well with the more minimal pieces in my wardrobe. It can just be gray for so long during the winter. And sometimes I'm really just craving, like I want that pop of color. So I wanted something that would offer me that color pop, but you know, allow me to be able to mix it in with my neutral wardrobe and really just create a fun palette. I just feel like it's such a satisfying knit and it's something that I've really been grabbing for a lot lately. I have some of my designs that I have not released yet. I knitted up last fall. I was for some reason wearing it a little bit more during fall time just because obviously the colors are so fall worthy, but it is really warm. This is a bulky yarn. This is a yarn um, by Lion Brand. It's called Hue and Me. Uh, it was actually yarn that was designed in collaboration with Alexi of Two of Wands. Um, and it is quite possibly, if not definitely, my favorite bulky yarn. But it works up so much like a chunky. And the stitch definition is just amazing. I love it so much. Wanted a really nice palette cleanser, something that, you know, where the stitch work wasn't too difficult. And um, these colors are so yummy and just so fall swoon worthy. You will definitely be in like your super long scarf bag. Okay, like it's giving length and yeah, I feel like it's just so versatile. You can make it feel like a, um, a long scarf, cozy cowl, and the stitch work is so easy. This is another to be released sweater design. I knit this sweater so on the cuff, like I was riding the pattern as I went along. It's definitely top down raglan. It's got some short row shaping in here. And yeah, I love it so much. This is with Wool Dreamers, which is 100% wool. The thing that I really love about this yarn so much is how well it blocks up. Like it just gets softer and softer. Try it on. It's 100% organic Spanish Merino and OMG, so soft. Um, I've had this folded for a little bit so it is getting some wrinkles back into it but I did block this and yeah 
love it so much so last but certainly not least so i won't keep this one on too long because uh it is definitely super bulky but um i love the woolly so much i feel like it's really classic i like this ribbing here there's lots of colors to choose from where you can really explore and uh it's made in pieces so if you really are looking for a beginner friendly sweater where you can make a front and back panel um add your sleeves and work on your collar by picking up stitches then you are good to go and this one i definitely would say like this is the sweater that you want to wear when it starts to like drop below zero because you are going to be warm. As far as current whips, I am loving the current piece that I am knitting right now. I am knitting a sweater. This is what I was knitting in the coffee shop in Ralph Lauren. And this is the cinema sweater. It is a pattern designed by Veronica Lindbergh um, at Kuzavakika is her shop name. And I love it so much. I love the yarn. So it actually incorporates two types of yarn. One yarn that I'm trying for the first time that I got from a local yarn store and another I sort of shot my stash. The cream base, if you um, see, it kind of has some really nice gray undertones going throughout the tonal. And it was just a really perfect cream that I wanted to explore. When I first saw this pattern, the designer actually uses a cream base yarn held with the mohair. So it was the cream color that really attracted me, but um, I didn't have like a cream sort of color based mohair in my stash. And like I said, I wanted to do a little bit of shopping to kind of get this cream color, but still really lean into shopping my stash. I decided on um, this beautiful cream yarn. It's a yarn by Northern Bee Studio and it is their Studio DK in nutshell. Mixed it with one of my favorite yarn brands, Sorella Yarns, Ashley and the Yarn Fairies. Oh my goodness, I just love her yarn so much. So I had um, some winter tonal in my stash and I was just like, I feel like there's cream undertone in here and it would really go perfect um, with the nutshell. It's this really pretty mauve and I got it on two bases. I got it on the classic DK and the Selena. So it has some sparkles in there. It is top down raglan. It has some short row shaping. It's a really, really meditative, relaxing knit. And I love it so much. I love the short rows. I love working the raglans. Um, I really enjoyed working um, the Italian bind off for the ribbing. It's still a little bit long on me, which I actually really like. It's very like oversized got a lot of room here and the sleeves i'm just working the sleeves down and with some decreasing in between and then trying it on just to make sure i get it to the length that i want because uh, this is made to be like really long arms so i really want to test that to work the second sleeve and then come back and seam the collar but like i really really like it like i really wanted to just play with um soft color exploration mixed with neutrals this yarn is so soft and i've just been having like such a good time knitting it so those are some of my current designs and whips i hope that you had fun hanging out with me let me know if you make any of my designs if you want me to make more videos like this i would love to meantime i am going to keep knitting and i hope that you curl up with your yarn and do the same i'll see you in the next video bye